Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing two tripods from Manfrotto. So on the left here we have the compact action tripod, and on the right we have the Be Free. So let's get started. So here are the boxes for each of the tripods, and you'll see that the compact action tripod is actually a little bit smaller than the Be Free, but the box overall is bigger. So that's interesting. So as far as what's included, we're going to get similar sets of instructions for each tripod. For the compact action tripod, we're also going to get an adapter for Sony NEX-R and NEX-T cameras for maximum stability. So if you have either of those cameras, that can be pretty useful. We also get a carrying case for each of them. So this one is for the Be Free, and this one is for the compact action. So these are pretty different, so let's go ahead and compare those. So this is the one that comes with the Be Free. It's pretty cool. It is black and red and white a little bit too. It has this shoulder strap with a nice grippable texture, so that can be useful. Here's the one that comes with the compact action. You can see it's just all black, and it uses this drawstring method instead of a zipper like this one does. And you'll also notice that the logo on this one is a little bit brighter than that one. But overall they perform the same function, which is to protect the tripod. And again you'll see the shoulder straps are pretty different, so this is just a string and then this is probably more comfortable. And it's also adjustable, so that's pretty cool. So now let's take a more in-depth look at the two tripods. So the Compact Action Series is Manfrotto's newest tripod series, and it's kind of their entry-level series, I guess. So if you're a beginner photographer, then I recommend this one. As you can see, it is more compact than the Be Free, but it also gets bigger than the Be Free. So its maximum standing height is about 61 inches, and the Be Free is about 57 inches. You can also see that this one has four switches, and this one only has three. So this one has five leg sections, and this one has four. So that's why it's a little bit taller. And now let's take a look at the head. So the Compact Action has a joystick head. So it's got this nice handle here. It's pretty big and easy to grip, and it's easy to move the head around. There's also this adjustment on the side, so you can switch between camcorder and camera mode. So you just twist this, and once you switch to camera mode, then you can also just twist the top here. So if we lock this back into place, you'll see that's no longer available. So this one moves on a ball joint, just like the Be Free. And it's got a little bit different mechanism for attaching the camera. So it has this little nub on the top, and it comes with this little protector, which really serves no purpose except for protection if the paint scratches off or something. So you just attach your camera to this, and then put it in here, and push that in. And you can also use this adjustment on the side for more fine adjustment, so you can add or subtract space, depending on your camera size. So that's cool. Another thing is that we can completely take out this top section. So we're going to unscrew this all the way. And then you will pull it up, and you'll use this little button right here push it in and you can pull out the top. So there you go. You can also use this as a short monopod if you want, I guess. So that's a unique feature. Let's put this back in. To do this on the Be Free, all you're going to do is take out this little rubber piece right here. And then unscrew this, and you can take it right out. So that might be a little easier. Now taking a closer look of the head on the Be Free, you can see it still rotates on a ball joint, and performs pretty much the same way. However, there is no joystick handle right here, 
So you can't pan around that way, instead you're just going to have to rotate this middle piece here to get smooth pans. To attach your camera on this model, what you're going to do is push this in right here and then you can pull back this lever and take out the top piece here and then install your camera and put it back on the same way. Now Manfrotto likes to put their logo everywhere they can, so on the compact action you'll see it right here. You will see it on the bottom of this nub as well as the side. On the B Free, you'll find it on the top here, on both sides of the head, on the plate right there, on the bottom, and on the side. So now let's talk about some of the design differences. Both tripods are made out of aluminum, but the B Free also comes with a carbon fiber variant, and the compact action tripod is available in black, as I have here, red, and white. And the B-Free is available in black, gray, as I have here, green, blue, and red. Next I'm going to extend the legs out all the way and I can show you how tall each tripod is. So the first thing you'll notice is that the compact action tripod is quite a bit taller than the B-Free. Not so compact. However, the compact action tripod has five leg segments and the B-Free only has four. Another unique feature of the B-Free is that you can adjust the legs to different angles. So right now we have it set to the standard angle and this is about the same as the compact action, but if you flip this switch over then you can get a different angle. So this one is not as steep. So this allows you to have the legs at different angles and then you can get some pretty cool camera shots like this. You can also move the switch all the way back to fold the legs completely up. So this allows you to make them all flat and pretty much do whatever you want. It really gives you a lot of freedom, hence the name Be Free. There's also this nice grip on the side which allows you to carry it a little more easily. So that's pretty much it for the comparison of the Manfrotto Compact Action Tripod and the Be Free Tripod. I would recommend the Compact Action Tripod to anyone who's looking to start out their photography career and wants a tripod that can go anywhere from small to tall. I would recommend the Be Free to a more advanced photographer that's looking for more versatility in a tripod and is willing to spend the extra money. And it's also available in a lot more colors and there's a carbon fiber model so it definitely fits a certain type of person. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about either of these tripods, make sure to drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And have a great day.